The Renovations and Alterations Ultra Programme has many modules dedicated to the different types of wall that can be built. In this movie, I'm going to show you how easy it is to price up your stone walls using the Wall Stone Wall module. I'll click on the letter W at the top of the screen. Now I'll select Walls and I'll click on the Stone Wall picture. The Stone Wall module has now been brought into the pricing sheet. I just need to enter the length, 5 linear metres, the height, 2.4 linear metres, and the area in square metres of any openings. This is 2.3 metres square. That's the hard work done. I will now look at the pricing sheet to see what's been calculated. I can see that all the sums are based on the area of the wall being 9.7 metres square, as the openings that I entered have been deducted. I also know that they will allow for the 6% wastage that you can see here. The blue text tells me the stone dimensions bed size and perp joint that the calculations are based on. If I want to alter these I can do so by clicking the red question mark on the stone line. Obviously stones are in a regular shape so all of these dimensions are average sizes. You can enter your average length, height and width for the stone that you will be using. The length and height will not have a great effect on the volume of stone that is needed but if you alter the width or depth of the stone you will notice a change in the quantity of stone required. The length and height do however affect the number of joints that are required, so for accuracy it's best to get these average measurements as accurate as possible. Like the actual stone, the joints can also be irregular. The size of them will affect the amount of sand and cement and stone that's needed, so again, to ensure accuracy, it's important to be sure the average joint sizes are entered. I can see that the quantity of stone is highlighted in yellow, so it may need my judgement. Even though 6% wastage is included on all the items, it may be higher for the stone, if you're having to sort through or snap them. The hours are also highlighted. Again, depending on the type of job you are doing, you may be doing a veneer or a thicker wall, so you might want to alter the default hours if you judge that it will take more or less time. I am going to be using a concrete 1200mm lintel, so I enter one here. You can enter whatever quantity you require, and you can select a different lintel by using the drop down menu. The mixer, sand, cement, and plasticizer are worked out. If you want to look at the details, you can click on the red question marks. I am going to be using lime in my mortar, so I will enter four bags here in the blue cell. By entering just three numbers and putting in my lintel and lime, my stone wall is priced. The totals for the plant, materials, labour, hours, and total cost are shown here along the bottom.